everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Nathan Stalski, Wealth Manager with Pacific Excel Wealth Advisors. Today, we're going to go over the second quarter market review, as well as the market outlook. Let's jump in. We're going to cover three topics today. Number one, outlook for growth. Number two, the outlook for inflation. And number three, the equity market rally we've experienced so far in 2023. Growth. Growth is slowing down, but it's not falling. We do see COVID era disruptions still working their way through the economy. Supply chains have mostly healed back up and are getting back to normal. Fiscal stimulus continues to provide a tailwind. About a half a trillion dollars are sitting in household savings accounts right now. Another measure is the Inflation Reduction Act, which caused the surge in manufacturing and construction all around the US. This has brought in a big tailwind to the US labor market. Which brings us to our last point, US labor market, it's cooled off a little bit, but we are still really, really healthy. When you add all three tailwinds, it's, help, it's helping to buffer the economy, especially from all these interest rate hikes we've experienced so far. Let's talk about inflation. Good news is inflation is falling. What we refer to as headline inflation has fallen from 9% down to 4%. It's really good. Headline inflation should get down to about 3% range by the year end. Core inflation, on the other hand, which excludes food and energy prices, that's been a little stickier. Currently, it's at 5.3%, while the Fed target is 2%. Fed still has a lot of work to do in terms of reducing the core inflation. To us, that implies higher interest rate hikes for a longer period of time. Lastly, let's talk about equity markets. The top 10 companies in the S&P 500 account for about 90% of the return uh, thus far in 2023. A handful of companies have done really, really well, especially with the wave of AI. The other 490 stocks have returned about 2% which is less than what you would have had in a short-term treasury strategy. Where does that leave us? We do continue to like the yields in the short-term treasuries. We also do continue to like the outlook for long-term core assets like stocks and bonds. We do encourage investors to stay disciplined, especially to the long-term investment strategies and needs. If you have any questions, please reach out to our office. Thank you so much for watching.